Yo, Alex Delaney here in Tribeca, standing on the corner of Warren and Church in front of Los Tacos Numero Uno. We're here for another episode of One of Everything, and I'm bringing a guest along with me, Rick Martinez, to eat tacos, quesadillas, maybe some tostadas, maybe some salsa, maybe some guac. We've got a lot to do. Let's get to it. All right, we're at Los Tacos Numero Uno, and look who's with me. That's Rick Martinez. Taco man. Taco man himself. Rick, what do you know about Los Tacos Numero Uno? This is the place where I eat tacos in New York City. Yes, we're at the right spot. Yeah. And you just came back from Mexico. Literally. From Puebla. You yeah. were in Puebla yesterday. Yeah, yeah. You're I know. traveling the world eating tacos. I know, but I can only eat tacos wherever I go. That's my new rule. <laughs> so you like the tacos here? I do. And especially the tortillas. I love both flour and corn. Yes. And this is one of the only places that make both, which is kind of amazing to me. Okay, so you've seen the show before. I have. Okay, cool. And you know there's some rules. Eh. <laughs> rules. We have to follow the rules. Tell me the rules. All right, we have to order one of everything on the menu. We have to take one perfect bite of each thing. We get to decide how we order on the menu. And then finally, after we've tasted through everything, we decide what the best things on the menu are. All right, so it looks like we have three basic sections to this menu. Mm -hmm. So start chips and guac, chips and salsa. Perfect. Yeah. Classic. Classic. Classic, of course. Yeah, yeah. And then Let's also, there's a beverage uh, situation as well. There's a couple aguas frescas and horchata too. Love horchata. Tacos. So a tacos, you can either choose corn or flour tortilla. I think we do one of each. I think we do one. We have to. Obviously. For science. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's our job. We would be terrible at our job I if mean, we didn't order one of these. I know. God, yeah. can you imagine? We're doing it for you. Tacos, tostadas. Tostadas, corn only though. And then I think we should move to quesadillas and the mulas. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do the on a plate. So it looks like they do a uh, nopales. No yeah. And then I hear, I've been tuned in and listening, uh, there are a couple off-menu items that we're gonna order too. Ooh. And then we figure out what's the best. You know, and I've been here so many times, I so, normally come in and like, I get the other bottom, so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like, that's the all-star. Yeah. We're not gonna say we're going in with favorites, but maybe we are. But it's kind of it's a favorite. It's kind of a favorite. Yeah. yeah. So, I say we start- I'm starting. starving. Yeah, let's get eating. Go. Oh. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh, where'd those Magic. come from? <laughs> Magic. It just hit 12 o'clock. The line it's is already forming. slammed, man. I know. It looks like we're in the right spot. Should we start chips and guac first? Yeah, let's Chip. do it. Yeah? When people dip and they do like a that, oh, it's that. like the saddest mm. thing in the world. That's a dip. Right, exactly. Mm. Why? Only one bite? Oh. So we have to judge just based on that. Okay. What are the thoughts? I really like the texture. I think a lot of times people make guac and they cut up everything too fine. This is really nice because you get like the, the chunks of onion, pieces of the cilantro, the tomato. It has really good flavor, good seasoning. Move on to salsa. Mm. That's got some heat. I like that heat a lot. Mm -hmm. mm. There's salsa that leans like more fresh, mm -hmm. meaning you're getting like brighter flavor and like maybe more acidity. And there's salsa that leans more roasty, toasty, deeper, concentrated flavors. And this looks like we're leaning towards the fresh fresh. Side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very balanced, also very well seasoned. Let's get into the beverage category. Los Tacos does two agua frescas, a tamarind and a hibiscus. So hibiscus has that insane color. Tamarind, a little visually less exciting, but for me, I love oh, so good. tamarind flavor. And then also we have horchata, and I know you're a horchata guy. Totally. Okay, cool. Where should we start? Hibiscus? Yeah, let's do it. That's nice. really good. Also not super sweet. I, I really don't like agua frescas that are like really, really sweet. It's got brightness, acidity, mm -hmm. the color's great. I really like that a lot. Moving down the line. All right. It's so good. That it, yeah, I love tamarind. Like to me, the tamarind agua fresca, that's always my go-to. It's really good. Yeah. All Finish right. it off with uh, the horchata. Oh. That's like, there's no bullshit there. They're just like no. straightforward. This is very much what you would find in Mexico. Like yeah. it's just really clean. It's like rice and canela and a little sugar. Simple, didn't need anything else. Dude, we already made it through one section of the menu. Wow. We're churning that and burning. one bite thing. God, it's gonna <laughs> kill me. I know, dude. Well, that's it. All right, so like, there's a lot of food left here. Yeah, yeah. The crew, though, gets to eat all this. All right, all not going this. to waste. Not going to waste. But we have more eating to do. I think we're on to the taco course. Yes. Let's go. Rick, we got a bunch of tacos. I'm not sure if you're aware I, or not. There's a bunch of tacos in front of us. I'm like kind of in a dazed and confused state right now. I'm like, I want to eat everything right now. <laughs> me too. Okay, but before we do, what's your beverage of choice with tacos? Fanta orange. Oh, Fanta orange. Boom! Bam! Yes. And what are you doing? I'm going with a little grapefruit action. Cheers. Cheers. All right, let's get into the tacos. Okay, where do you want to start? Carne asada? Yep, let's do it. I think we should start with corn. 
This little uh, charring on the side of the tortilla, like toasted corn flavor, so yeah. good. All right. Mm. First of all, super juicy. Mm -hmm. And then let's see, we've got the avocado puree crema situation. Right. That's more classically what you'd find in Mexico instead of an American style guac. Guacamole is thinner, it's more like a salsa. That's a simple taco, it's so it's good. so good. Should we move on to flour? Yeah, yeah. Also this, super look thin. At that, like, and look at that, like you can tell the lard content. Oh. All right, let's do it. Mm. The immediate observation for me, people say, do you like corn or flour tortillas better? The answer is usually flour, but it's kind of a what do you want from the tortilla. If you go for corn, you get that toasty corn flavor and that becomes part of the taco. Yeah. If you go flour, you're probably leaning a little bit more on texture, like the chewiness of a yeah, good yeah. flour tortilla. And I think depending on like the filling too, like that one, I actually preferred the flour. All right, next one up. Are you tilting your head? Am I not? Okay, so the rule of taco, so taco is always straight, Yeah. and you tilt your head. Because if you do the reverse, everything falls everything, out. And that's why I was looking like an idiot. I'm here to help, man. I appreciate that. Right. All right. Really charred flavor mm -hmm. on the chicken. But I didn't get that char on the steak. Flour or corn? Corn. I agree. All right, next one. The is usually like a prickly pear, right? Like flat paddle. Yeah, it's a flat paddle. Which, and then the needles are scraped off? Yeah. It is like a textural singularity almost. Like <laughs> the biggest thing, it's a veggie tortilla. Definitely prefer that on the flour. It's a little, a little one no. One no. But you know, for the vegetarians out there, get your cactus. No. Nope. All right, oh. on to the next. Our last final taco is autobata. And this is what I get excited about when I come here. Like you walk in and you see a giant spinning cone yes. of meat. meat. How are you not gonna immediately be like, Oh, when we those. walked in, I was mesmerized. I was just like <laughs> staring at it. Exactly. Exactly. I feel like when people see this, they'll be like, oh, I'll bust store. And that's not quite yeah. right. Adobada is basically a marinade and it's an adobo. The biggest difference between this and the pastor is the inclusion of achiote. It's the annatto seed, which gives it this like really intense bright orange color. Gotcha. And so like that whole, if you're if you're familiar with shawarma, mm -hmm. the cooking process is exactly the same, right? Thin kind of sheets of usually pounded meat mm -hmm. stacked on top of each other on the trompo, which is that kind of spit yeah. that spins around slowly in a yeah. circle. One side is exposed to fire, fire. Yeah. so it's constantly cooking the outside, constantly being shaved, sliced really thinly yeah. off. So like here, so you've got like a really hard char on one side and it's just like nice and tender on the inside. Yeah. It's like kind of not fair to the other tacos. And you can taste the clove, that heat, but then also having that like deeper baking spicy type thing yeah, yeah. going on. It just creates like a layer of flavor that goes way deeper than anything else. And then that pineapple, it just kind of lifts it up. You yes. do a little bit of acid, a little bit of sweet. Yeah. This is such a good taco. Let's try the flour. How big can I make the bite? We're both we're doing, we're doing yeah. like a half taco a bite. Here. I, yeah, not bad. Mm. The whole taco just changed with the flour tortilla. That's amazing. All right, off the top of the head, what's your favorite of the tacos? I really want another bite of this one. I mean, I, I would definitely finish that. So oh, I would say yeah, 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 yeah. But this, like the flour tortilla? I would say flour tortilla, out of I'm right there with you. Okay, are we on to the next? Yeah. Move into the tostada territory? I might save this, put this in my <laughs> backpack. Cool, let's get them out. Rick, what are we looking at? Tostadas. Tostada time. Yeah. But first, new round of drinks as well. Rick, with the Fanta grape mm. meat, with the Jaritos. Mineral agua. Mineral agua. So I think a lot of people think that tostadas are fried, yeah. and they're actually not. These are toasted on the plancha or the comal. Same preparation as a corn tortilla. And instead of flipping it and taking it off after about two minutes, you leave it in there for like between five to 10. It dries it out, and then you start to get this really nice toasty goodness on the outside. And you get like these cool shapes too. Okay, where should we start with the tostadas? I mean, Chicken's in front of us. Chicken's right there. Yeah. How do you properly attack I think the tostada? We're gonna have to just lean in because I have this fear. It's gonna. <laughs> it's just gonna crumble. go. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So right. get ready. Mm. That's fantastic. It actually, it tastes like corn nuts. It's so good. Carne asada. Yep. Having a mustache and eating any of this is dangerous. Yeah. Whatever this marinade is is awesome. No palis tostada. All right. I like this version better. Yeah, I do too. Toasty corn and the texture of the tostada works yep. really well with this. Back to our love, our soulmate of the taco world. I know. The autobata. I'm scared of how big a <laughs> bite I'm gonna attempt to take. <laughs> the tostada just like changes the taco completely. Yeah, the sweetness, the heat, the spice, the juiciness. It's just like everything mm -hmm. you want, you could possibly want from a tostada filling. Yeah. That is just beautiful. I'm really impressed that we are taking as big a bites as we are. What was your favorite tostada? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. 
Harper but I mean, the chicken was a close, well, close, close-ish. As close as you can get. Right, right. Yes. <laughs> okay, quesadillas, coming right. up. Let's go. Oh God, uh, Alex, what have you done to me? I don't know, man. Holy I heard you were hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what? So we have our four fillings. Let's also address the fact that these quesadillas are not folded. So it's still one tortilla, it's not folded over. Right, right. Start with chicken again. It's right there. Mm. Hmm. Damn. I really, really yeah, like what? eat that. No, well, we have, a, we have okay. more. All right, all right. All right, let's go corn. I've been ordering wrong. Mm. Here. Yeah, for what years. Are we been? we've been coming here and getting tacos. This is where it's out. I really like how these tortillas are like fatter. This texture, like, mm -hmm. they are fat, then with that extra layer of cheese. Cheese really does make everything better. It does, it really does. I mean, you know what I kind of love? What? A tortilla and cheese. Can we do that? Uh, Corn tortilla and with cheese, just mm -hmm. plain. Yeah. We have the power, Rick. This, yes! The nopales, they need fat. And the cheese they need and the flour yeah. tortilla. Mm hmm mm. Nopales corn. Mm -hmm. mm. The texture of the corn with the cheese is mm -hmm. so good. So good. I love that we always say this to relax. Mm. I like the taco version of this one better because I feel like the cheese kind of masks a little bit of the flavor. Uh, the, yes. I mean, I would still eat both of these. <laughs> but. All right, last one. Mm. I think I actually prefer the corn. Overall, I honestly think the chicken might have been my favorite. Dude, the chicken flour? Chicken flour. Yeah. Chicken flour, yeah. Oh yeah, my yeah. god. I just think that like fat on fat content was just like maybe no. a little over the top mm -hmm. in the best possible way. I mean, if we're gonna like make a sort of a magic quesadilla y situation, yeah. I think the cheese on a mm -hmm. toasted corn would be really yes. good. And actually, there is, I believe, a fifth mythical quesadilla. What? Oh, Alex, God, tell me more. Rick, this is the special quesadilla of which the prophecy foretold. Dreams are made of. Fried. Look how crispy oh and God. fried that looks. Wow. How insane is that? But before we get into this, okay. remember when you were like, oh, we should get oh, tortillas yeah, yeah, yeah. or just cheese? Yes. Uh, Corn tortilla with cheese, just plain? Yeah. Okay. We did that too. This is amazing. Okay. So these guys, literally just cheese and tortilla. That's magic. That's like me getting home on a Saturday night and just being like, what do I want to eat? That God. is what I want to eat. Oh, oh, oh. Cheers. I always come back to this with food. It doesn't matter how simple it is. You don't need to go over the top. If it's done the right way, if the mm -hmm. tortilla is this crazy good. And the cheese is really good And the, too. Cheese, is the cheese is really good. very good as yeah, well. Yeah. It's like you only need the two things. Just when you thought it couldn't get any better. Just when you thought Anabata shows up on a fried tortilla. These bubbles can only exist when you have dough that's that flaky and that fatty. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Why have I never ordered that? Earlier we were saying like it's tough not to take another bite. Now, I'm just like almost impossible. Just the amount of adobada they put on here too and see how it melts into the cheese. Mm -hmm. I wanna eat <laughs> that forever. Cut the camera, cut the camera. Yeah. We lost Rick. I mean, he'd never know. It's like, you know, I could just, I'll just nibble off of this or, uh -huh. What have you done now? <laughs> we got more tortillas to eat. We got yeah. more cheese to eat. More we cheese. got more meat, more cactus. And these are double cheese. Basically the construction of the mula. Tortilla, cheese, filling, protein, salsa, cilantro, and then another tortilla also with cheese. Where do we start? I mean, mine's gonna start <laughs> we here, We already right? touched yeah. these. The flour tortilla, the cheese, and the chicken, like that little bit of bitterness you get from the mm -hmm. char oh, yeah. on the chicken, it just plays so nicely with the fat of the flour tortilla, yeah. the fat of the cheese. So good. It has everything you want. Mm -hmm. All right, chicken on corn. Yeah. Yes, please. Keep it moving. I just love Los Tacos Numero Uno. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> the thing that I think is interesting about the cheese directly on the tortilla mm -hmm. is that it kind of makes the tortilla less absorbent because yeah. it gives a layer of fat that's like letting any of the juices kind of cool off of it. So you gotta be a little more careful when you're eating them. Because it's gonna just flow out like yeah, a exactly. river. Like that. Like a waterfall. I'm still saying chicken though. Oh, over, over the 100%. steak. 100%. Nopales? Yeah. Mm. Those are really good, actually. Of all the Nepal, Nepal kind of variations that we've had, that's been number one for me yeah, so far. Same. Yeah. 
my theory still stands. If you're going for nopales, you need an added layer of fat. Maybe we should order that with like a third tortilla and cheese. You're a visionary, Eric. <laughs> you guys already know what we're saving for the last in basically every category. It's the spinning meat stick. <laughs> How about my favorite words? <laughs> I still can't get over the texture you get mm -hmm. on the outer bottle. Like one side of your mouth, it's like, bam, oh, super, super tender. The other side, it's like that nice little crispy bit. And it's just like, it's interesting. It's mm -hmm. an interesting filling. And I still love that, the warming spices at the end. You're left with that flavor and it just kind of like slowly, slowly, mm -hmm. slowly, slowly dissolves because it's just so deep and it hangs around yeah. for so long. Our bites are getting smaller. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at our bites. Uh, Rick, our numbers have doubled. Ooh, who do we New have friends. here? New friends. <laughs> New friends. Yeah, we're with Christian and Tyler, co-founders of uh, Los Tacos Numero Uno. These are the guys that are responsible for all these tacos. <laughs> yeah, I love you guys. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you come to open a taco shop? Tyler and I moved out here uh, 10 years ago. You know, since day one, we, we were in this rude awakening that we were missing that uh, food from back home. Mm -hmm. And uh, we took a leap of faith and uh, decided to put a little business plan together and bring the uh, cuisine, you know, from our home to uh, New York. And um, yeah, we started about six years ago now. Probably the thing that I love about you guys the most are the tortillas, both the corn and the flour, because I think for so many Americans, the, the tortilla is just the vehicle. It's kind of flavorless. People don't think about it. It just holds yep. the filling. And you know, in Mexico, as you know, mm -hmm. like the tortillas are a, an integral part of the flavor of a taco. Yep. You know, whether it's the corn or the flour. It's the foundation, yeah. you know. Don't even think about it. Corn and flour. Corn and flour. Yeah, corn. It's, wow. it's a tough yeah. one. You it can't choose. It depends for the meat. It depends it for depends the meat. Depends on where I'm going. Okay. okay. Yeah, for yeah. Sure. Okay. So we still got to do the uh, off-menu stuff. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, we're going to do the queso taco uh, yeah. and then a vampiro. Christian Tyler, thanks so much. No, thank, thank you, you so much for singing yeah. by. We love uh, to host my guys. heroes. Yeah. No, uh, anytime. <laughs> we're here. Yeah. Rick, we're eating food again. Oh God. We're consuming more. We're not looking at a tortilla right now. This is the nopal plate. Charred nopales on the bottom. Mm -hmm. A lot of cheese, a lot of onions. Beans. Yeah, something we haven't seen before. All right, do it. Moment of truth. That's really good. Those beans are great. Also, I wasn't expecting it to be warm. Yeah. But it's really nice. All right, so off menu, Two items, you can order a queso taco, meaning a taco, and instead of a corn or flour tortilla, the entire tortilla is made out of queso. Crispy, fried cheese. Yes, yes. I think we should start there, and then we'll get right. into the second. All right. Uh, yeah. So this is all cheese. And this is Monterey Jack. Kind of mm. cakes down on top of the plancha, all and right. that's what you get. Wow, this is gonna be so good. All right. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's up with that? Jeez. That is almost like heaven. It is almost like heaven. Wow. You need to be 100% down for the cheese. It's a lot. If you go, it is a lot of cheese. So, Vampiro is... It's basically a tostada. The reason why it's called the Vampiro is because these little edges, when they kind of curl up and the, and the taco kind of comes up like that, it mimics the wings of a vampire bat. All right. Ready? Vampiro time. Just when I got Each time we're like, oh, we found the best thing. Yeah, exactly. And they're like, shit. Oh. That gets the, the check mark, seal of approval. Oh, 100%. Co signed by Alex and Rick. Mm -hmm. It's not on menu, but if you ask at the counter, they will add beans to any taco. Are we and doing this? I think needs okay. a little bit of charred pepper and onion. <laughs> So I think the thing about the beans on the taco is that it just adds a lot more heft. There's more to handle with the taco. Usually when I have beans on a taco, they're refried. And, and I have had your refried beans a million times. Yeah. And every single time, it's been a positive experience. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. We've eaten every item on the menu. Mm -hmm. The only thing we have left to do is figure out which ones were the best. Here's how we do it. We have three different categories. We're gonna give you the three best things each thing appropriate for a certain situation. The first is the grail. This is the one shining star. This is the MVP. This is the thing that Rick and I both were like, we need another one the next time we walk in the store. We're not thinking about anything else. Rick, what is it? Especial. The Especial. It's amazing. Oh it's so gosh. good. You have the adobada. It's the fried quesadilla. It's like wonton and paratha, but deep fried and flaky. And then you've got that marinated pork and the pineapple, oh. the cheese. It's perfect. It's everything that you want in life. That's the grail. Yeah. That's it? That's it. The special. Okay. Secondly, this is the second time around, the next time. I've already had the especial, but I'm back for more. What am I ordering? 
I think you're gonna go like more classic taco, adobada, flour tortilla. Yes. Okay, again, we're back on the adobada. That spit, texture, juiciness, flavor. Spicy. Adobo, pineapple, it's its all there. You can just keep listing these yeah. words and fall deeper and deeper in love with this thing, okay? Flour tortilla though, we liked it a little bit better than the corn. The corn was still delicious. The corn was delicious. I mean, you're not gonna go, I mean, actually, you should really get one you of these. You should really get one of these. Yeah. What are we saying? Yeah. Get one yeah. of each. Yeah. Adobo taco, one of each. Okay. And third, this is the last, this is kind of the, uh, the hidden gem, the dark horse the regulars move. If you're here every day, you've probably explored this entire menu, and you'll know, deep down, that you really want a chicken mula, flour tortilla. Absolutely. That was kind of, like, I was totally surprised no, how much I liked that. It's the one thing, like, that I, both of us, like, would never order a chicken taco. No, that would never be our first call. Yeah, and I, I I'm, you know, like, it's a quesadilla. I don't want a quesadilla, yeah. I want a taco. Yeah. But. But. When you put a quesadilla on top of a quesadilla, and you get twice the amount of fatty, floury tortilla, and, and twice, twice the, the amount, amount of cheese. cheese. Come on, man. Yeah, no, it's you, amazing. You can't argue with that. Yeah. And then fourth, the thing you need to get is just an egg. Because <laughs> I'm yeah. toasted, man. Completely. Completely yeah. toasted. Rick, thanks for joining me today, man. Dude, thanks for having me. Your expertise amazing. was uh, was crucial. We know what to order at Los Tacos Numero Uno now. Totally. So do you. Bon appetit. <laughs>